Hey everybody, Phil Pustiowski here. I'm here with Ed Reyes, Sam Lowe. We're here in San Francisco. I've been doing some personal mentoring with these guys. And uh, here, I'm going to, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see them as we're talking. Uh, we have generated quite a bit of leads, haven't we? Yes, yes. we did. Uh, now, we start off with the internet leads. And, uh, and what happened there? We got a blast. Well, well, we had a we, lot of what, agents, we got a lot didn't of we? Agents, yeah. yeah, we had a lot of agents, and and that can happen. Depends on your marketplace. Sometimes internet lead providers are going to give you some agents. Uh, so then we went to the for sale by owner blast. What happened there? We're getting a lot of a response. We're getting a lot of calls, and we yeah. got a couple of good leads out of it. Yeah, and so we go to the for sale by owner blast, and again, that's in the manual. That's in you know, it's in section two. And uh, what ended up happening was, how many calls did we get? More than 25. More than 25. More than 25 calls. We haven't even called them all back. It's been day two. We haven't even called them all back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, the next step is we're about to go on a, on a, on a sign-up meeting right now. Uh -huh. And uh, we're going to sign up a short sale, $600,000 deal. Yep. And uh, we've also got a, uh, a land deal we're looking at. Two lots. Mm -hmm. was marketed at 900000 a few yeah. years ago, and it's down. Uh, they want to sell it for four hundred. dollars yeah. We're seeing some other lots on the, on the market at five fifty. So there's some room there. Might be able to wholesale it, maybe I'll flip it. Um, and there's a couple other leads we've been looking at too. And uh, so, y'all, I, I just encourage you to get out there, take action, follow the system as we're doing. And uh, there's just more leads, more deals, and you'll ever know what to do with out there. So uh, happy investing, guys, and uh, talk to you later from San Francisco. Say, say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. All right, come with us now. We're gonna go to the sign-up meeting. I decided I'll do some more videos, and this time you can come with us to the sign-up meeting. Here's our man. He's about to call back a motivated seller. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Ed's in the pilot position. He's going to make sure we're safe and sound on our way to our $600,000 short sale sign up meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, if you're wondering what we're doing on the drive to the property, take a look at this. Ooh, got the computer. Mobile internet with that little Verizon thing you see there. We're on a website called redfin.com. If you're in California, Boston, Atlanta, there's a couple other areas, Redfin is incredible for being able to find comps. So, and meanwhile, Sam over here is just, just chipping away, talking to motivated sellers, finding more deals, and um, Ed, former cab driver is all over the directions. He's got his iPhone with the GPS. There's the play-by-play. -play. We are almost to the property. We're hill in, uh, we're in Brisbane. Look at this hill. I mean, it's Bay Area, there's lots of hills. Homeowners out front. I'll keep you posted. All right, so here's the property. We just arrived. See the for sale by owner sign in the front yard. Boom. We got the property here. He's got gentlemen here working. Looks like they've yanked some stuff out of here. Where's the homeowner? We don't know yet. Okay, so we're going along the side of this property. As you can see, it's got a little, little walkway. Look at that view, huh? It's beautiful. If you keep going this way, you actually got a view of the bay. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard in the video, but it's there. It's there. Um, you know, a unique shape, but just a, just a dynamite location. Okay, so we're done with the sign-up meeting. I want to give you the uh, play by play of what happened. All right, so the seller was not completely motivated. It turned out he owed what do you owe? He owed 648. 648. He owed 648 on the house and uh, it may sell for 575. But he doesn't want to do a short sale. Um, look at the notes here. His payments over 4000 a month. What he did is he moved out of that house uh, into downtown San Francisco to be closer to his job. But he said he can move back. So he could move back to his house if he wanted to. Okay. 
and uh, this was interesting. So I said, why don't you want to do a short sale? He said, I don't want to hurt my credit. I said, well, you don't have to hurt your credit because you can do a short sale without having to stop making payments. You, you can be current. And he, uh, he said, well, I still don't want to do a short sale. He said, but what if I move back in, I'm going to do a loan modification. I said, well, a loan modification, that's going to hurt your credit. He said, I know. I said, okay. So here's the bottom line. When you get a situation like that, it's a situation where they're going to do a short sale. It's going to happen. He's not going to keep making empty $4,500 a month payments. I don't care if he's Donald Trump. He's going to do something with that property. And here's the secret. You have to be the absolute last person he's, he's, he's heard from. You want to be the one who's the, what we call the squeaky wheel. Because 90% of success is just showing up. So we showed up. We were there. He knows our faces. He knows the situation. We worked it. We, we talked it through with him. And so he's going to have some stuff to think about. But we just follow up with him. Because eventually it's going to come around the pipe that this is a short sale deal. And he's going to work with somebody. He's going to work with an agent. He's going to work with an investor. He's going to work with somebody. It needs to be us. And so the secret is follow up, follow up, follow up. Okay, so that was the, uh, that's what happened there. If, if the camera's shaking, it's because we're driving right now. And, uh, and that's the follow-up on the deal sign-up. We got some more offers to make. We got an, an offer to make on a, on a land deal. Yeah. So we gotta get that worked out. We got a, quite a few more motivated sellers to talk to today. So a lot more to do. All right, talk to you soon. All right, this is the final little part of the uh, video here. And uh, we're making some offers. Looky there. And uh, what we're doing right now is we got a land deal we're looking at. This is not a short sale. This would be a an all cash offer on a deal that we'd end up wholesaling or flipping and uh, we're going to give it plenty of room on the closing date and uh, low ball offer but I think we're going to be in the ballpark to be able to make some money on this thing and uh, did you guys have a good time today? Yes. Yeah, yeah good times? Uh, hey so tell me uh, you did that lot you know we just went to that that sign up meeting and whatnot. Um, was it really all that scary to go talk to a motivated seller? Not think, really. But I think just, the seller was scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it's just... Uh, Go ahead. They, they uh, worry that was the right question to ask, you know, the first time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, you know, I, so many people, I just... I often tell that people, they get scared about this. There's nothing really to worry about. We're trying to help people. We're trying to buy real estate, so... You know, just just have some fun with it. So we had some fun with it, and uh, we're putting some more offers together. We're having some fun. This latest one right here is about to be uh, faxed off, and uh, that's it from here. This experience, good, good be with y'all. Talk to you soon.